Now, here we go again. I'm back on these people's farm. Yes, I'm at the Amish farm. Stuff was produced in Maryland, Southern Maryland. And yes, I am here for the apples. Y'all see the sign? <laughs> I grow my own kale, so I don't need kale. I don't need pumpkins. I don't need gourds. I need these apples in my life, y'all. Okay? I'm going to show y'all all these apples. They got different varieties. Oh, honey. And most of them are $1.99 a pound. So if you buy more, you can get them cheaper. But I'm going to buy a little bit of a few of these varieties. Some I like, some I think my grandkids are like. So let's see what I get at the end. I'll show you what I get. Sweet Tango, yes, definitely getting some of those. Uh-huh. Let me know in the chat which which apple variety is your favorite variety. Now, have you seen, ever seen so many apples in one place at one time, y'all? I don't know. Unless you have your own apple orchard, maybe not. But try to find an Amish community near you where you live um, so you can get some of this goodness yourself, okay? Look at the red delicious. Not my favorite apple. The skin on these are too thick for me, but I know a lot of people do buy these and like these. That's just not my favorite. There are so many things you can do with apples. I mean, really, you can you can make fried apples. You can make apple pie. You can make um, you can uh, caramelize them, put them on your pancakes. You can use them to make smoothies, and of course, you can juice them. So. So many options, so many alternatives, so many things you can do with apples. And this is the season, guys. Now, you might be looking at these and say, why do apples look so dusty? Well, because they not have been polished. They have not been waxed. They have not been sprayed with some chemicals to preserve them. They are as they are, okay? All natural, all natural. As they fell from the tree, this is what is in these bins, guys. So you know I had to take advantage. Get me some fresh apples. Like I said, these ain't your perfect shiny supermarket apples. No, honey. Some, some are too small. Some are too big. But boy, one thing they are, they are delicious. Now, if you really like apples, try apples without all that stuff extra stuff on them and you'll see what I mean so don't judge by their appearance alone no honey some of them look like they had a rough day <laughs> but honey when you get them home and clean them up yourself they don't taste like a rough day they taste like a beautiful day now you get to pick and choose which ones you want I tend to like the ones with a little bit of extra character them ish apples, I call them. Give me the ish apples, okay? The ones that are a little bit imperfect. As long as they ain't got no holes in them, no bruises, and they not, you know, spoiling. That's my perfect apple. See what I mean right here? Yeah. They ain't got the perfect shape. They ain't shiny, but they delicious. Now you might be thinking, ain't nobody going to buy all them apples. Well, honey, this lady told me, that she ships 20 pounds to her son every year, and she is there every year to get the apples. Now, these apples ain't going to get no supermodeling job. They ain't going to be pictured in no magazine as is. But, honey, who needs perfect when you got delicious? <laughs> now, let me go on and pick the ones I want and measure them up and uh, go on to the counter with my imperfect apples my delicious apples because honey this is my favorite way to pick apples <laughs> right out the bin i got my granny smith and my sweet tango mm -hmm. don't they look delicious yes sir and i'm gonna wash them up and dry them and put them right back in these bags and then i got my honey crisp and golden delicious and me and my grandkids we're gonna enjoy ourselves you hear me because these are super delicious i already sampled them no wax, no preservatives. Just the way I like it. The day ends beautifully, guys. I got my apples. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see y'all in the next video.